Hi guys, it's Laura there and you're watching Laura X Annie. So today I'm here with my everyday makeup routine. If you want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. Okay, so this, I decide, I'm deciding to forgo the whole voiceover thing and just get on with my makeup. So this is the quickest and easiest way I do my makeup in the morning. It's just so quick. So the first thing I use is the Infallible uh, Stylo Eyeliner from L'Oreal Paris and I've used this on my waterline. Um, it's the best one I've found personally for um, waterlines. Um, just to be honest with you, if you're squeamish look away. <laughs> um, so how have you guys been? What have you been doing? I've been really busy with like uni and stuff so I am pre-filming so so many videos. Um, by the time you see the next video, oh, I still will be at uni, but this is like, I'm filming so many videos here at uni because uni is, uh, has the quickest Wi-Fi I've ever seen in my life. Sometimes the waterline is tricky to be really honest with you because sometimes it doesn't, um, the, as you go along it like wipes it back off and you're just like, why? Um, but yeah, so it's been boiling here. I don't know how your guys' weather has been, um, wherever you are, but I know for a fact, and by the way, if I'm looking down here, I'm looking at my mother, because if you don't know, I am blind as a bat, and I can't see, so that's why it makes, like, makeup tutorials really hard for me, because I don't want to, like, to put the mirror right in front of my face, because it'll obscure your view. Right, okay. Okay, so that's the waterline, but now my tight line. Is the tight line the one above? And waterline is the one below? I'm gonna assume it is. It's quite funny because when I go to the opticians, I always say I don't want contacts, and they assume it's because um, like I'm squeamish or something, but actually I'm really not. What it is is it's so much money because of my prescription. If you wear glasses, you'll understand this. Sometimes your prescription is really strong. I've had glasses since I was five. I'm now 21, so I've had glasses for a long time. So my prescription is really strong, so that means it's like 60 quid a month for me to get contacts, and I don't want it. And I'm like, oh, but you do, like, because I remember having one woman say to me, like, she's like, oh, you put eyeliner on your waterline, and that must, you must not be squeamish. I'm not, I don't mind touching my eye. I know a lot of people do, but I don't mind it, so it's not a big deal to me. Next, I'm gonna go and do my winged liner, signature winged liner, and this is a Super Liner Perfect Slim by L'Oreal Paris. I love this. This is brilliant. Um, I don't know what size of wing I'm doing today. We'll find out. Oh, yeah. And then I have a trick for you because this is going to look like I'm a bird, but I flap because this is the only way I can get it to kind of dry. One eye done. Now on to the other one. Can we match this? Oh, I need to top this up. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm going into town in a bit with my flatmate. To get a couple of things, I need argan oil for my hair. I also need to go on a secret, super secret project, which means I'm gonna have to like leave Millie for five minutes and be like, yeah, I'm just running to Boots, please don't follow me, or it'll ruin the surprise. Because obviously, they're leaving, and um, her and Isla, who I'm really close to, are leaving for the summer tomorrow, the day you're watching this. Um, so I'm not gonna see them over summer because I was meant to be going down to. England, well London uh, in the summer to see uh, with my birth mum and my little brother but we're moving that till October and Millie had said to me, she's like, oh well if you're in London in the summer I'll pop round so I'm not, right, these don't match, they never do. So what I do is I leave that to dry for a little bit longer and then I move on to my eyebrows. So I use the collection eyebrow kit in blonde and I used to mix those two colours here but now I just use the middle one and I use my Real Techniques, I've used it that much, don't know what brush this is, but it's like an angled brush. It probably is not for your eyebrows, but you know, so I just go in and I just fill it in with the main colour. Um, I never used to fill in my brows. Um, it was never a thing I did until uh, 2015 
when I was at my best friend Leah's house, well, Leah's flat, and then we were trying out a makeup look for the Oscars that year, my first ever Oscars. I have a lot of people that don't understand and haven't watched my channel, they just will not know what the Oscars is. The Oscars is a thing that I used to do at my old college, and we used to do awards. I organised it last year, it's organised by the HNDs, and I organised it last year, and the year before that I was in HNC, so yeah, and Leah was like filling in my brows and I started to love it. So it works kind of quite bushy brows. So that's it, done. And then I go in with the collection Colour Lash uh, All Day Wear Mascara, and this is just in clear one. And I just use that to kind of go through. I also have a wax that I got from Maybelline that I sometimes use um, if I'm going on a night out. Which is a very rare occasion. I can't swap between them, but I tend to just go with the easiest. So now that's done, I'm going to go in with my eye lash curlers and curl my lashes. Eh. I never used to do this either. It's quite funny though, because when I look at like my makeup in 2013, which was oh, four years ago, I haven't been in school in four years. Eh. Well, I think I thought I'd be done by this time, but I'm back at uni for another three years. Um, yeah, so I never used to curl my lashes, but now I do. And I'm gonna use, well, I got this mascara, right? But to me it's too clumpy, but it's quite good. It's just not my favorite. This is the Mega Volume by L'Oreal Palace Miss Baby Roll. It's all right, um, but I'm gonna use my good and trusty Mega Volume Miss Hippie by L'Oreal Paris. I love this one, um, but I don't know if I've got much left. That's why I bought a new one. Should've just stuck with the original, but you know what it's like. You just go, oh, I'm gonna try this one. And it ends up being the shittest one that you try. Uh, so comment down below how long it takes you to get your makeup on in the morning. Cause if you've watched my channel enough, you'll know I don't put on foundation. So it takes me less than, oh, that's me at 7.43, but I've chatted and I don't usually chat. So it usually only takes me about six minutes to do my makeup. And then you got to do the bottom lashes. Can I leave the bottom lashes out? Uh, I have a busy day today and I have not slept well. Um, I'm surprised you can't see my bags. My bags are terrible. So, essentially, that is it. Um, but what I like to do, especially when it's really sunny, is I like to set my makeup because you never know if you're going to laugh or you're cry all day. So I use the NYX Matte Finish uh, Finny Matte long lasting, no, matte finish long lasting setting spray by NYX and I love this. So what I do is I push my hair back. Tip if your glasses are there, don't put your glasses on top of your head because then they will just get sprayed with it. So I let that, doing my fanny thing again, <laughs> fanny thing, <sighs> I do that again and then what I'm going to do, sometimes I put on lipstick, sometimes I don't. If I'm putting on lipsticks I usually use MAC if it's like just every day, it'll be MAC Whirl or MAC Velvet Teddy. But today, I can't be bothered to put on lipstick. So I'm going to use this. This is a Barry M Coco Loco Lip Oil and this is in Coconut. I love this. It smells like summer. It smells like suntan lotion. And I'm just going to put this on lips. Because I don't know why. I just felt the need to... I've been wanting it for a while, I want the berry one as well, but I prefer the coconut, so I thought I'd pick that one up. So yeah. So that was it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's something I don't usually do because I'm blind as a bat, as I explained, so I find it really hard to do it. Um, but yeah, so that was fun, um, and I will see you guys on Monday with my second part of my Harry Potter series and it is Draco's playlist is on Monday so I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye!